Hey, hey, welcome to a Memorial Day edition of the Ask Jason Question Series. So we just want to give a shout out to anybody who has served in the military, and we want to say thank you for their service, and we remember all those whose lives were lost in service. So thank you to all of you people out there. So we got a great question, and here it is. Thank you, Tim, for sending this in in Here's the question. When you have a fixed fee for a monthly service, how do you respond when your customer subtly or not so subtly asks, so how much time are you spending on our work? So great question. But before we answer that, I want to let you know about Thrival's eighth annual Deeper Weekend. This is where we're going to learn about advisory. And the root of this question has some advisory things related to it that we're going to talk about in a minute. But if you go to dw.thrival.com, that's dw.thrival.com, and you learn about uh, the cry of the advisor, which is the theme of this year's Deeper Weekend Conference. You can hit the registration button on that website when you're ready and key in the code DW18, and it's going to take $150 off your ticket. Now, it's half sold already. It's going to sell out, so you want to hurry and do this as soon as you can, uh, October 24th through 26th, that 24th is a welcome reception, and then full days of teaching, 25th and 26th, on how to become an advisor. You can send your whole firm and at all at one time have everybody learn about what becoming an advisor truly means. We're going to define it as a profession and not let anybody define that for us. So let's dive into our question. It's a good one. So when you have a fixed fee for a monthly service, how do you respond when your customer subtly or not so subtly asks so how much time are you spending on our, on our work? And so the easy answer is uh, we don't, that's none of the client's business, right? Uh, so that's like, that's like buying a pair of jeans and asking somebody to tell them about how, the, how it was stitched together. It's like, what are the workings of the thing that go into the service that you're selling? Me? And honestly, those things are not uh, what clients are meant to, to be managing. So um, so I think easily the answer is we don't share that information with our clients. Um, is there, you know, and maybe, maybe you can ask, is there another piece of information you're looking to find out? Is there a reason why you want to know those information? Because as a policy of the firm, we don't share that information uh, with our clients. And in fact, I mean, you wouldn't say this, but that is not the place of the client to be asking you those kinds of questions. That is an internal business model decision. That's like, that's like a client asking really to see your financial statements. Can you tell me if the profit you're making is, is appropriate for what you're charging me? And that's just, that's just not a relationship you want to get into with a client. So I do realize there's risk in answering that question. Um, I think the right answer is to say uh, we don't share that information with a client as a policy of the firm. Um, now, for our firm, it can be easy, right? We don't share, we don't track time in our firm, but a lot of firms do track time. Uh, so I think it's just easy enough to say uh, we don't share that information. Now, you're taking a risk when you do that, right? Because what's, the, what's at the heart of that question? Uh, the, at the heart of that question is, does the client trust you? Um, and, and when you're asking, when a client is asking that question, you get to ask that question to yourself in return. Does this client trust me uh, to provide the service for the amount of money that I want them to pay? Um, and the answer may be no, they don't trust you. So I would say there is a risk to answering this question, but the risk is worth taking to make sure you are aligned with the right client. This is actually a client alignment uh, issue, right? Uh, this is uh, trying to figure out, is your client aligned with who you are? That is, do they trust you enough to not ask that question? And the reverse of that is, if they're asking that question, maybe they don't trust you. Well, you know what the heart of the cry of the advisor is going to be? Um, a foundation to being an advisor is that your clients trust you. So if you have clients seeking to, to weigh in to the decisions of your business model and to the profitability of your firm, then they're probably not trusting clients. They're also probably not clients that you can do advisory services with because not all clients are clients you can advise. They have to want you to advise them and that trust has to be there. So this, this question leads us to wonder, uh, does that client trust you? So I would say 
uh, whether they trust you or not, take the risk to answer the question that we do not share that information with our clients. And is there some other information you're seeking uh, that led you to ask a question like that? So why don't you send your whole firm to Deeper Weekend uh, this year, October 24th through 26th, and you can learn a lot more about advisory. Uh, the theme is the cry of the advisor, so go to dw.thrival.com. And we're going to learn all about what it means to be an advisor. Thanks, Tim, for sending that question in. And I hope you guys have a great Memorial Day. Jason Blummer, signing out. See you.